And good morning. Welcome to Your Vote Counts. I'm Scott Mitchell. This is John Eccles. This is Jason Tennington. And this is the governor who's saying the legislature needs to come back. We're going to do a special session on taxes, reduction of. It's an interesting call. Will it happen? Well, um, let me just tell you, it's not February, so it's not Groundhog's Day, but it kind of feels like that with these special sessions. Um, yet another special session has been called by the governor. He called one last year at this same, you know, kind of time period for the same reasons, to cut taxes and look into transparency into the legislature. We have a legislative session for a reason. It happens in the spring. If uh, our legislature wanted to take up the tax issue, that's the time to have done it. To bring the legislature back at a cost to the taxpayer right now and try to willy-nilly put something together in just a two-day period, I'm not sure is a great idea. Um, and I feel like a few of our legislative leaders have said the same thing. Okay, in the old days, a long time ago, two things very seldom, impeachments and special sessions. Since you've been there, there's been a lot of special sessions. Is this one going to happen? Well, is it going to happen? Yes. It doesn't feel that special anymore. But he, here's where I will say, and the viewers of the show know, I think the governor's right on tax cuts. We absolutely should have done it. As a matter of fact, our neighbors across the way, Arkansas, spent last week cutting their income tax by 0.3% and giving a rebate to citizens that make under 150000 We have almost $5 billion in savings in a $10 billion budget. Eventually, how much more of your money are we going to take and hoard? It is time to give some of that back, and uh, I, I think the Gov's right on the policy. Okay, so the interesting aspect of it is how the Senate reacted. They said, we want the governor to come here and detail this. So the reaction for the legislature is what? Well, it's cold water is what the reaction from the legislature is. I, I don't want to give viewers any idea that I think tax cuts are going to happen, which it really is ridiculous. Uh, pro tem Greg Treat, who is a phenomenal pro tem, uh, respect greatly, did a great job of saying the Senate's position. Right now, they haven't shown a tax cut they're in favor of. Uh, they have their reasons for that. Speaker Charles McCall came out and said, absolutely, we're in favor of tax cuts. And one of the things that I'll throw on this show right now, why don't we just cut it a quarter point, sunset it after three years, and all go home and give citizens more money? That's, there, there are easy ways to get this done, but there's still some infighting in the legislature, and I, I'm, I don't have as much hope as I wish I did. Easy sometimes ain't easy, as they say. Your thoughts about where this will be headed? Yeah, I think the pro tem rightly in this uh, regard said, look, if we're going to cut income tax the way that the governor's asking, it's going to create a $4 billion hole in our state budget. We do have a $5 billion surplus, but it only takes a little bit of uh, simple math here to realize that in just one year, we would only have a $1 billion uh, surplus if we were to do this particular tax cut. Look, I've called for on this show a number of times, do a rebate. There's no reason to continue to do a, a tax cut when you can give every citizen a rebate this year and next year uh, as long as the budget continues to, um, to be fruitful. But let's be smart about how we um, use the state's budget and not put a future legislature in the same position that many of us were put in in 2016, 17, and 18. Okay, we'll see if they debate the rebate. But when we come back, we're going to tie STEM education and the price of oil and gas. By the way, it's going up. Thank you.